Twinette and Erica, here we are more than 12 hours after the fire and firefighters are still here putting water on what is left of this home. You can see how destructive the fire was, the roof collapsing, the home destroyed. And although no one was hurt, a family is now homeless. Flames lit up the night sky in Canton as fire raged in the attic of a three-story home on Boathouse Road. Um, very difficult fire to fight. The fire was already well on its way when firefighters were called here around 1130. The family inside, all adults, managed to make it out safely thanks to smoke alarms. They were in bed at the time, and fortunately for them, they had working smoke detectors, and it did alert one of the family members to the fire, and they were able to notify the other family members who were sleeping and get them safely out of the house. About 40 firefighters battled the three-alarm blaze, the extra manpower necessary, largely because of water access. First issue was water supply. Uh, it's you know difficult to move the amount of water you need that distance, so that took some time to set up the water supply. A long night battling a stubborn blaze that firefighters thought they beat until flames reignited in the roof early this morning. Now attention turns to the investigation and what caused the fire. It, it does appear that it started on the exterior of the home, however, and it appears accidental. The home is considered a total loss. The chief estimating damages at at least $800,000. The family was allowed, uh, escorted by firefighters, to go inside and grab a few belongings until finding another place to stay.